In what can only be described as an absolutely unreal 2020 season, Joshua Cheptegei from Uganda has completely flipped the possibilities for distance running. In just three races this season, he's broken three separate world records, and for his most recent 5,000 and 10,000 meter performances, he took down the previous marks set by the legendary Kenanisa Bekele from Ethiopia. And in both of these events, Bekele's previous times had both stood for over 15 years. It goes without saying that Cheptegei has officially reached an epic level of distance running dominance, but he still has one final race this season, and if he can somehow win this race, this single victory will make his 2020 campaign, quite possibly, the greatest distance running season of all time. On October 17th, he is slated to run in the World Half Marathon Championships. This will be his very first half marathon of his career, and even though he's never run this distance in the past, he certainly has a shot at this world championship title. Back in 2018, he broke the world record for the 15K, running a time of 41 minutes and 5 seconds. And just like every other world record he broke after this performance, he somehow made it look incredibly easy. I remember watching this race and being blown away at how effortless he looked while running 2 minute and 44 second kilometers. Simply amazing. Indeed, he will be extremely difficult to beat. However, the competition for these half marathon championships will be fierce, and this new world record breaker has a massive target on his back. First, let's take a look at his fellow Ugandan, Jacob Kiplimo, who is still only 19 years old. But do not let his young age fool you, because this teenager is definitely a threat. Back in March of 2019, he had an incredible showing at the World Cross Country Championships. Against an incredibly talented field, he was the only runner who was able to keep up with Cheptegei, and at just 18, he placed second at these World Championships. But perhaps even more impressive was the fact that he was the runner up front pushing the pace for much of the race. This was certainly an enormous accomplishment, and moving into 2020, he continued his streak of running excellence. On September 8th, he placed first at the Ostrava Golden Spike track meet in the 5,000 meters, taking down the extremely talented Selimin Berega from Ethiopia. This was a very tight race, However, he pulled out an amazing kick down the home stretch to take the victory, winning with a time of 12 minutes 48.63 seconds. This was a new personal best by over 25 seconds. However, just nine days after this race, he returned to the track in Rome, Italy, and wow, was this race truly unforgettable. Pinned up against Kiplimo for this 3,000 meter race was another teenage prodigy, Jakob Ingebrigtsen. And even though Ingebrigtsen had run many tremendous races this season, Kiplimo still pulled out an incredible win, winning this 3K showdown in a new national record time of 7 minutes 26.64 seconds. Not only was this a new national record, but it was the fastest time ever run by a teenager, and unbelievably, it does seem as though he can still run much quicker. Indeed, Kiplimo has showcased tremendous potential over the past two seasons, but there is still one more athlete to look out for, and that's Kibiwat Candy from Kenya. Just a few days ago, he said, I don't fear anybody, including Cheptegei, because I only believe in myself and the preparations that I have had. I have trained hard over the past few weeks, so the threat of Cheptegei is neither here nor there. This is certainly a confident approach for this Kenyan athlete, but does he really have the credentials to back this up? Well, in 2020, he's only run two half marathon races, and for both of these performances, he's run under 59 minutes in both events. On February 21st, he placed first in the RAK half marathon, running a time of 58 minutes and 58 seconds. Then on September 5th, he again won a big half marathon in Prague, running a super fast time of 58 minutes and 38 seconds. This was a very interesting race as the runners all ran in one big loop, and with a finishing time of 58.38, Candy is now the sixth fastest athlete in half marathon history. These two races were very impressive, however Candy also ran a 15k last year on December 31st, and this race was definitely the most dramatic. 
Over the final 200 meters, Caney was running around 10 meters behind Jacob Kiplimo. Although he was decently behind Kiplimo, he somehow made a huge move with about 10 meters to go and dramatically passed Kiplimo to win this race. Now, this finishing time was much slower than Cheptegei's current world record. However, this finish was undeniably amazing, as he made what can only be described as a ninja-like move to pass Kiplimo. Both of these athletes will certainly be difficult to beat at this year's World Championships. However, I must admit that I still see Joshua Cheptegei as the clear favorite for this race. Going back to December 1st of 2019, he has only done world record performances for the past 10 months. And moving into these World Championships, I think his speed and endurance will make him extremely difficult to beat. Unfortunately, the current world record holder Jeffrey Kamworo from Kenya will not be in this race. Back in June of this season, he was actually hit by a motorcycle during a training run, and because of this, his training was very much affected. Thankfully, he's back to running, but he will not be on the course on October 17th. I can only imagine how amazing this race would have been if he was to compete against Cheptegei, but hopefully, we can see these two athletes compete against each other very soon. Cheptegei's primary goal for this half marathon is to place first, but if he can somehow put together another world record run, he will achieve something that has never been done in the history of athletics, and that's break five separate world records in five separate events within a one-year period. This kind of record-breaking running just doesn't happen anymore, so if he can somehow capture yet another all-time performance, we will be witnessing a truly legendary moment in running history. And now I pass this final question off to you. Who do you think will win in these World Championships? Will it be Joshua Cheptegei? Will it be Jacob Kiplimo? Or will it be Kibiwat Candy from Kenya? Leave a comment down below and share your thoughts. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.